Deseret Sugarfoot Anderson was a pioneer in the football world. His football career took off in the late 1930s as his speed and incredible arm strength helped him to become legendary. One opponent said Sugarfoot threw with such velocity that it spun him around like a top. And how did Ezra Anderson earn the nickname Sugarfoot? Teammates called him that for the sweet way he could run up and down the football field. The National Football League was in a different state back in the 30s. There were no black football players in the NFL. Things changed dramatically in 1946 as several black players would play in the NFL. Sugarfoot would follow shortly after in 1947 as he suited up for the now defunct Los Angeles Dons. During his time in Los Angeles, Anderson met Bing Crosby, who helped Sugarfoot into the Screen Actors Guild, which allowed him to work in Hollywood. He ended up in over 20 films in the late 1940s into the early 1950s. One of Ezra Anderson's memorable roles is in the original movie, The Story of Seabiscuit, with Shirley Temple and Barry Fitzgerald. Welcome to Kentucky, the Bluegrass State. Thanks, Murphy. After that one season of football with the Dons, Sugarfoot retired from the game of football. His retirement was short-lived, as the Calgary Stampeders recruited Anderson to play football in the Canadian Football League. Once Anderson arrived in Calgary, he became an instant hero due to the fact he helped lead Calgary to the 1949 Grey Cup game. Also in the 49th season, Sugarfoot was named to the CFL All-Star team and was one of only two Americans to make All-Pro on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. We played in Mawada Stadium, 12,000 people, standing room only. He played a total of seven seasons for the Stampeders, retiring in 1956. The Calgary Stampeders added Ezra Sugarfoot Anderson to their Wall of Fame in 1990. Sugarfoot has been a part of the Calgary community